Hi guys, and welcome to this week's lesson of the week. Uh, today we're going to be discussing knowing your numbers. Obviously, we've been using TrackMan for the past few weeks. Uh, I've found some really insightful parts to my game, which I haven't really sort of taken control of over the last two, three years because I haven't been playing and, and, and practicing as much. Um, so today I'm just going to talk about how we can utilize knowing your exact numbers with your irons and your driver and your wedges and how that can influence your game and how it can actually make you score better. So it's a little bit of a challenge because we often think we hit the ball further than we really do. And I found that out this morning. As you can see, I'll bring up the, the numbers from my warm-up session this morning on the range that I used TrackMan and obviously did three or four shots with each club and that at an average. So you can see in that where I am at in terms of average, I thought I was a lot higher than what those numbers state. Um, but I'm at the point where I, I just want to fully rely on TrackMan to give me the right distance and then just play by those numbers and that'll, I know, give me a little bit more confidence because then I know what my average with every club is and I'm going to be looking purely based on carry. So I'm at the 11th hole on the west course today and I'm going to put this to the test. So a hole playing 182 yards, which I would normally think it's between a 6 and a 7 iron. Based on what I've done today on the range, it's actually between a five and a six iron for me. So I see there's a bit of wind off the left. Um, I generally shape the ball a little bit left to right with my irons. So this is probably gonna make my ball go a little bit further than I normally would like. Uh, as you can see on the table, my distance with my five iron carry wise on average was 184 yards. I've got 182 to this pin. So maybe with the wind slightly down and off the left, I'm gonna try and hit a six iron because I think my six iron average is about 160, 178, 176. So this should be perfect. And depending on the situation, so if I had something before the green here like water, I would definitely be taking a five iron and going a little bit extra and making sure that I just carry the water. I've got a little bit of a runway before the green here. So I'm gonna hit this a little bit lower if it does pitch at that 170 mark because I've mishit it, it's probably going to run up and then it will be a little bit easier for me to control the, the release and I'd rather be short of this pin on this hole in this situation than too long. So I'm going to give that a go. I'm going to hit a six iron and let's see, let's see where that takes us. bad yep pretty good i think the wind got hold of it a little bit but i'm probably about five yards long uh, but not too bad in total i carried that 178 so pretty much on the number it just came out a little bit low but again just going to help me make the right decision in terms of what club i'm going to use and i think it's so important and so often overlooked we think we hit the ball further than we do we often take our total number instead of our carry number we want to be looking at if we need to fly a bunker or water or try and get it on the fairway over a bunker or some water what are we going to do you know are we going to try and push the club that we think can get there or we're we just going to take a club that will get us there more comfortably and i think that's a very important lesson that certainly opened my eyes this week and i'm pretty sure it's going to help my scores so you know, if you don't have access to this, we do have TrackMan. If you want to book in a session and just check your numbers, do let me know. But know your numbers and try and get consistent with those clubs. Don't try to push those clubs too far because then we miss hit it and then our numbers sort of go up and down very, very erratically instead of just trying to keep a nice rhythm and just stick to the distance that that club goes. Thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you next week.